Morning guys, it is the next day, Wednesday. Here's my crusty morning phase. Um, so it's around like 4.30ish in the morning. I was up at 3.56, I think. So I just wanted to check in because I'm about to make coffee and get some work done. And then today I'm probably not working out until like 6 or 6.30 because I've got a lot of charts I want to up. But yeah, I feel great, feel fine. Oh, today I'm actually, I'm gonna take you guys with me a little bit today because between work, like between patients, I'm also having lunch with one of my cousins. So I wanna show you guys what I eat. Alright guys, so it is officially 7.14 and I have just stopped working this morning and I need to go work out. I really wanted to start working out earlier, but this is where we are. So today I will be doing a 20 minute like interval warm up and then I'll be doing a total body lift. I may not be able to film like all of it because whenever I film it does take me longer and I need to get the workout done because like that's truly the goal, right? To get the workout done. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak all right guys, so I just saw my first patient and my next patient lives so far away, but I am about to break my fast because I have not had a chance to eat yet. I thought I would get to eat like before I left, but I haven't. So it's currently 19 hours and 38 minutes. I'm gonna break my fast in fast. All right, let me show you guys what I'm about to grub on. So I got my food set up real pretty, but I'm probably gonna have to like eat some food and then I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat my salad right now or not. I will take a few bites from it, but I'm gonna have to eat some of this while I drive. So I'm gonna use my same little towel from yesterday to make sure I don't spill food all over myself. So this is what I'm breaking my fast with. I've got some tater tots there, those um, hamburger patties that I made yesterday. And then this is, oh my gosh, that's a buffalo chicken salad from Aldi with some salad and then some watermelon. So this will be my first meal for today. Okay, so I just had to like share really quick to Instagram stories. Let's take the first bite. <laughs> yes, that was so good. I love potatoes and I love that my up days are on my lift days because my lift days are when I tend to feel the most hungry. And I just get to eat. I'm trying not to smack or like pop my lips, pop my mouth, but it's good, y'all. I'm gonna give myself a few minutes to eat before I get back on the road. So, this is my first meal, but I'm also meeting one of my cousins at one. So, I'm gonna eat again. Also, during my window, these are so crispy. I burned them, but I like crispy food. Same for the tater tots. I burned those too. Oh well. The tater tots, I actually like left them in the air fryer while I was trying to get dressed. Um, I was only making like a small amount just for me. And I left the setting on the same amount that I do when I'm cooking like for the whole family. So, that's what happened there. But they're still good though. This buffalo chicken salad, you guys, it is so good. Loaded with calories, I'm sure because it has like blue cheese, hot sauce, chicken, all of that. It's so good. If I should if I shared like where I had them with the Triscuits, I I'm sure I probably said they were so good then too. But I'm just enjoying a nice little buffet here. So um, with modified with modified alternate day fasting, I do not feel like I'm depriving myself or any of that because I know that my down days, like the 500 calorie days, are going to be followed by an update of where I get to have like literally whatever I want. 
it just feels so good and i will say that during my um like during my up days i tend to drink like just regular water and mineral water i really don't do anything that has like sweeteners or any of that not that there's anything wrong with it because you can if i were going to go to a restaurant i would probably have a drink or something but do i have food on my face i don't know feels like i do but um i'm looking around because i'm like in a parking lot i don't belong here it's actually a church parking lot so i'm like watching my surroundings but yeah i don't feel like i'm starving myself don't feel like i'm missing out on anything this works for me and also i'm refueling my muscles from today's workout i'm gonna eat a little bit i gotta go all right so my window's been open for about 25 minutes this is what i destroyed and now i feel so much better and i'm ready to tackle my day i'm just gonna i have a water bottle that's like not cold water just regular room temperature that i rinse my mouth with and also, I think I misspoke. I said something along the lines of like, I don't drink other beverages. During my eating window, I truly enjoy having um, coffee with cream. So that is another beverage that I do tend to have. And then again, like I said, if I go to a restaurant or I'm out to eat or something, I probably will have like a Diet Coke or something like that, but not all the time. Usually I really try to pump in the water as much as possible because I'm working on my hydration. So, all right, I'm gonna put all this up and I gotta get on the road. I'll share with you guys what I have for my next meal. All right guys, so here is meal number two. Coffee, this has some almond milk in it. And then this is just some quinoa with yummy veggies inside and a red vinaigrette. So my cousin had to cancel um, for today, which is fine, stuff happens. Um, so I just went by the restaurant we were supposed to go to and ordered my food. I'm gonna eat in the car and then do some documentation and then just get back to work. Mm, this is good. I really enjoy quinoa, but I have to be honest and say that sometimes it makes me bloat. So I'm hoping that I don't bloat too much. And it's so good. There's feta cheese and olives and peppers and tomatoes. I like to make this on my own. Actually, I'll share a video with you guys soon where I was helping my daughter meal prep and this is something that she made in her meal prep. I'm just need to edit that video. I'm telling you, you guys, just please keep watching my videos and let them play a thumbs up and share them with your friends because the first thing I want to be able to do to outsource is hire a video editor because I film a lot for you guys. I just don't have time to edit it all. Like I film a lot of footage, but then it just sits on my SD card because I don't have time to edit it. The editing and then writing the description and doing the thumbnail like all of that stuff is what takes so long the filming no problem but from getting it from the camera to all the way upload it to youtube and share it with you guys that's where i struggle and mostly it's because i i work full time but if i didn't i would have a lot more time to devote to my channel hmm. <laughs> all right I'm gonna eat and chart. I have like an hour into my next spaceship. Okay guys, so here I am actually back in the office at work and I grabbed some snacks. <laughs> so I got peanuts and then those little buffalo hot wing bites, pieces, whatever. I haven't had those in years, oh my gosh. But I found them in the break room so I was like, oh yeah, I'm taking them. So yeah, there they are. That's the serving size that was in there. And I also had peanuts as well as some water. And here I was just trying to like call some of my patients. And then I did have some notes I needed to update, some doctor's orders that I needed to call and check on and receive. And here you can see where I finished all of that yummy food. All right guys, so it's about 5.20. I am back home. I'm going to have this. So it's like some baby dill pickles and some pepperoni and after this i'm gonna close my eating window i've been eating for well not eating like all day but my eating window has been open like seven and seven and a half hours so far i think eventually i want to get it down to six hours but last week it was open for nine hours so gradually i'm getting there i think one of the things that i love the most is that i get to eat the foods that i love and 
and tomorrow will be another down day for me another 500 calorie day and i'll probably have like i don't know i tend to eat a ton of veggies on the 500 calorie days because i can get like a lot more food in and as I mentioned, I'm a volume eater. I like to feel full. So probably a bunch of veggies and maybe some eggs or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and close out my eating window. So I've got a few more bites to go. Um, I hope that from this video, you guys are able to see like how flexible intermittent fasting really can be. Also, I hope that you see, cause I try to like see what I'm sharing from the eyes of a viewer. I hope that you can see that I'm definitely like not starving myself and I'm not like depriving myself or any of that. This way of eating actually feels really, really good to me. Really good to me. And tomorrow I have six miles to do. I don't know if I'm going to walk that outside or do it on the treadmill. I don't know, but have six miles to do and i feel like i'll have all the energy that i need to do that and then friday i'll lift again have another up day saturday will be another down day i'll do cardio saturday morning and then sunday is an off day and i typically just do like an omat style like a four hour eating window and then just go from there then I go back Monday. It's actually working for me. I feel really good. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'm gonna take my last few bites with you here. Mm. Let's make a pickle sandwich. Sandwich. Tonight, I've got a ton of chores to do. I try to start doing my chores for the weekend, like on Wednesday night so that I don't have like a lot of stuff to do over the weekend. I'll just be drinking water. Like I'm not even gonna have more coffee because I've gotten enough work done today, like during my work day to where I don't have to stay up late tonight. So I just need to, I need to clean my house. <laughs> I got a lot of chores to do. Currently like seven hours and 43 minutes eating window. So again, lots of water tonight, lots of hydration, and that's gonna be it. I still have food in my mouth, so I'm not gonna close it prematurely. I'm so anal about certain things. I'm like, make sure there's nothing in there. No flavoring, no nothing. I'm gonna go shower before I start my chores. Actually, I need to walk my dog. It's gonna be a long evening, but I need my sleeps. I have a cutoff point, like where I force myself into bed. So whatever doesn't get done, doesn't get done. That sounds strange coming from me. Even when I said that out loud, like I'm like, how did I get here? But that's where I am now. On certain nights, certain nights I'll push it. Like certain nights, I will push it. But tomorrow is a long work day. Like we start off, I have case conference, and then I've just got patients like back to back, back to back, which makes it really easy on a 500 calorie day. Cause girl, I don't even have time to think about food. Like I just gotta keep going, right? I have to go to bed on time tonight or I'm just gonna be like not on my best behavior tomorrow. So start fasting that's it that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed this video as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye